Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we'll be going over reporting snapshots in Salesforce. Reporting snapshots takes a picture of a report and when it takes this picture, it is stored in a custom object. For future references, of course, you can create a report with uh, opportunities or leads or cases or, you know, any kind of object that you want to understand. Basically look at trends, uh, you know, keep historical records. So you can compare the past to the present, however you see fit. But let's dive right in. Now there are some prerequisites for reporting snapshots to work in Salesforce. And at the end of this video, I will describe some limitations. And I highly advise you do your due diligence to review these limitations as well before implementing reporting snapshots. Let's begin. As you can see, I created a custom object called reporting snapshot. Now this is essential and I do highly advise that you do create a, a custom object dedicated to each object that you do plan to store uh, historical data in, such as case reporting snapshot or lead reporting snapshot. And there isn't much you need to do here. You just need to create the object and the uh, corresponding fields. And here's the thing. Make sure that you do create corresponding fields, but compatible data types as well. So I use text. Um, I feel as though that's the simplest form. You can use pick lists as well, but um, it's totally up to you. Again, do your due diligence. We're here in reports now. So I created a folder just called sample. You can call it reporting uh, snapshot, but I just want to uh, store this report in this folder so I know where it is. So here is an example of a source report I created. As you can see, uh, this is from the cases. So I want these records to be stored in the custom object I showed previously. Now, it will take a snapshot, as they say, and it will take these records and store it into the custom object. Keep in mind, uh, for this example, I am going to use a tabular format. You can use tabular or summary, but I'm just using tabular at the moment. So we have our source report and we have our custom object. Now that's out of the way. Let's go to the quick find box, type in reporting. and click on reporting snapshots right here. And this will appear. Let's go to continue and uh, click new reporting snapshot. I'm just gonna call this case history, just for example's sake. Now you wanna select your running user. I'm just gonna pick myself. Now, when you select a uh, running user, ensure that the user has modify all uh, data permission and uh, run, re run reports uh, permission. Okay, so now here, click the source report. So this is the one I want. And we're going to have to pick a target object now the target object is going to be the custom object, which is the reporting snapshot. Right here, click this, and then click on save and edit field mappings. Here, we're going to uh, connect the source reports uh, fields to the corresponding fields here. Okay, I'm gonna do that in a jiffy. And last but not least, type Okay, so I have all my desired fields, corresponding fields, connected account name, case number, case reason, 
All right, so now I'm going to click save. So once we're here, you want to go down here where it says schedule reporting snapshot. Click on edit. Now you're allowed to uh, put this as daily, weekly, or monthly. So let's just do Monday. Pick your date, start, and end. And I'll just do, yeah, we'll just keep it as it is. Have it run for like a month. And let's see, preferred. Uh, I guess at this moment it's just 1 a.m. And then click on save. All right, so this is all set up now. So once uh, reporting snapshots does its scheduled job, you'll receive an email like this, uh, you know, with the report's name, um, the date, the time, and uh, how many records were inserted into the target object, uh, any failed records that were loaded, that weren't loaded, I should say, uh, status of the reporting snapshot is success and uh, you can click here now you're probably wondering well how can I see the data that was actually stored so you, you do need the report type of your target object so in my case it's the reporting snapshot so let's go to new report Let's go to reporting snapshot. Now it could be, now if you don't really see the report type, just build a custom one. Click on here. And as you can see, this is the uh, auto number of uh, each record. So here's the uh, report. It's uh, quite identical to this, somewhat. So there's rows at edge.com on this uh, report, and then there's rows at edge.com on this report. So this is the source report, and here is the report of the target object. You can uh, do a whole grouping here. Go to status. Let's do add chart. So you can see you can add a chart here. Just group these, uh, you know, fields. All right, now let's get to the uh, limitations of reporting snapshots. As mentioned before, um, the running user must have modify all data permission and manage billing uh, according to the documentation here. Now, some other things that you do want to be aware is um, is that um, reporting snapshots could take up up to uh, two thousand records at once. So, um, if anything over two thousand is most likely going to error out, you can add up to one hundred fields to the target object, and that's about it. Remember, remember, this is a limitation right here but I don't think you need too many fields depending on what you really want to see on a weekly basis. Also, keep in mind with the uh, custom object, the target object, do not add any processes, validation rules, flows, apex. That custom object is just used to house the records, the historical records. Other than... Uh, automated processes, um, don't add any relations. That's also a limitation as well. Down here, it'll tell you um, some potential failures during the schedule run. So I mentioned a few of these. Um, running user does not have run reports permission. Um, running, running user does not have access to source report and automated processes. Um, as mentioned before, I do highly encourage 
that you do do your due diligence to uh, check the official documentation before you implement reporting snapshots. So this is just a basic overview. Um, I will leave uh, links in the description for you to look over and understand uh, the feature. But other than that, that's all I have for today. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I will catch you in the next one.